Uh, now, if you turn around, right there, that's a big sour wood. And that means, when I say that's big, that means in general it's a medium-sized tree when it's mature. It doesn't get gigantic. They can certainly be bigger than that, but um, that's that's a that's probably at the mean, you know. So now let's look at that one because you'll probably not see a bigger one than this today. What would you say about the bark? What does it look like? Anything you've had? Ah, okay. Kind of looks. I heard word blocky. I heard persimmon. Well, here's how to separate them. Okay, persimmon is almost perfect square. We, we describe them as charcoal briquettes. The old, the old fashioned square pattern. Not natural white oak charcoal, you know, with chunks. But you know, they're you know, talking about. Okay. These are rectangular. See how much taller these are and longer? So it sort of appears blocky, but they're definitely long. Some people, when I say what does it look like, say chestnut oak. I've heard that. Oh, kind of like a chestnut oak. So, because chestnut oak's kind of long. There's long ridges. And these don't get as pointy top as the chestnut does. Chestnuts are like a mountain ridge. It rises to like a sharp edge. These are kind of flat. Uh, so yeah, a little bit like persimmon, a little blocky, but they're tall rectangles. If I asked you what persimmon buds look like, you'd some of you'd be saying, where, not persimmon, sourwood. You'd be saying, where, what? I don't see any. They're very small little buds. They're, they're just a little raised bump like a pimple on the twig, just a little bump. Still affiliated with the leaf scar. It's always going to be there, right? That's where the buds are. But just a little bump. So you'll notice that when we get a twig and a small one. Then uh, in the leaf scar, what, what do we look at in the in the leaf scar? Vascular bundle scars or the little dots. You know, like you guys, like black gum has three, right? Okay. This has one single dot. Do you know anything else that has one single dot? Persimmon. <laughs> so it sort of reaffiliates it with persimmon again. Too. Now, that's really all it has in common with persimmon. This will get a red twig in the winter. And you remember how all along we've been teaching, okay, it's green, but it's going to turn red when the leaves turn red. Oh, it's green, but some of them, like on box oil, they're going to turn purple. Well, now we're there. <laughs> the leaves are changing. So this, the twigs on these are changing from green to red. And okay, they're going to all be red in the winter. And the last thing that we'll get to show you is the leaf. If you chew on the leaf, it's very, very sour. 